Um, ooh. Okay. I have. I have green. I crossbows. You know I want crossbows. Hey everybody and welcome to LTV Plays Robo Quest. Now I was given a key for this game by the developers. Thank you very much for the key. Loving the game so far. I've only cleared through the tutorial, so I haven't done a lot. It's not like I've seen loads. I have had a little bit of a play around just to get it recording well, but I haven't. I haven't really seen seen all that much to be honest with you. It's a first-person shooter, roguelike, roguelite, roguelike sort of game, and so far it looks absolutely phenomenal. It looks great. It plays well. It runs well, and it just feels feels great to play. I'm terrible. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna like full disclaimer right now. I am absolutely awful at first-person shooters. Definitely not the sort of game I'd I'd usually go for. Like Call of Duty, things like that. Not really my sort of thing. But if it's a roguelike, on the other hand, and that's when I get interested. You know, I like to test out any different variety of roguelike that there is available. Okay, that was cool. I didn't know that I could grind on things, I just did it. I just like jumped and it worked. So, as you see, you get a variety of different weapons to select from. I mean, not really select from. They will appear at random. Probably shouldn't be using a shotgun from absolutely miles away. It's probably not the brightest idea. So yeah, you get a variety of different weapons to choose from. Every now and again you'll find a new weapon box with a new weapon in it. Um, you can also get upgrades. Um, don't really know what the upgrades do yet because I've not, not played all that much. Um, and you can get uh, level ups, as you see right now. And then when you get a level up, you get to choose a perk. The perks are picked at random, as you'd expect in a roguelike sort of game. So then we're just going to whack H, and here we get weapon crits. Have a chance to rebound nearby targets for 75% initial damage, which is sweet. Bullet damage has a chance to generate an explosion on hit, which is also pretty sweet. Ooh. Thing. I'm gonna go for the crit one. The crit one sounds cool. I don't know why, I just like it. Does crit mean like... Is crit gonna be like a crit chance like you'd find in an RPG game? What is all this about? Um... Okay. Uh, double jump! Oh, this is treasure room. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, is it gonna be a crit chance like you'd expect in an RPG game? Or is it gonna be... Uh, headshots? Like you'd expect in like Borderlands? I'm assuming headshots. Laser, 50% cooling. Oh wait, 50% crit chance. Ah, or is it plus 50% damage? Hmm. So that says crit, no. No crit. So, a laser grenade launcher. What even is this game right now? What is that? I mean, cool is what that is, but... But what is it? And what's this one? Just a straight up laser beam? Oh. Okay. Tiny little lag spike there as I first fired it off, but it's fine. It's the lag weapon. The lag laser. So, and also, another, another little disclaimer. I don't have my settings on Ultra. It runs absolutely beautiful. Ooh, wow, this gun's good. It runs absolutely beautifully with the settings on Ultra, but it just won't record. So, I've had to drop them down quite significantly, which is a shame, because I'm not showing the game up in its full glory. It is absolutely stunning to look at the environments in this game when it's all loaded up nicely. But sadly, if you want to see that, then um, I'm afraid I can't demonstrate that to you right now. Maybe I'll figure it out another time, but for now, I'm just going to enjoy the game. Oh, yes. So I'm guessing the red... The red dot is the weak spot. That seems to make sense, right? So if I do that, I'm getting like a little chain lightning effect occasionally to nearby enemies. That one didn't have a very big weak spot to aim for. This gun's a beast. I like this. This is a good gun. So yeah, as you can see, my first person shooter skills are not, not exactly good. I can't remember the last time I played a first person shooter game, to be honest with you. This is a lot of fun though. This is a lot, a lot of fun to play. It's like as soon as I got on it, sort of like sent 
made my hair stand up on end. It was just like, wow, this actually, this is great. This feels really nice to play. Like, sort of, sort of a little adrenaline rush. Okay, I think that may have lagged a little bit then. I think it does, does seem to clonk out just a touch, a touch when I'm recording. Only when I'm recording, um, as it loads in a new bunch of enemies. I think, I think that's the reasoning for it. But other than that, the recording should be lovely. And the game, ooh, it just feels so nice to play. And the art style is so good as well. It's very reminiscent of Borderlands, as I imagine most people would make that same comparison, but it is very, very reminiscent of Borderlands. But I, I really like it. I love the whole sort of cell shaded -y feel to it. It's good. It's just a really, really nice, like, thematic approach to take to any sort of game. I just love this sort of art style in general. This art style and like retro looking art styles, you just can't go wrong with that sort of thing. This gun is phenomenal. I'm gonna switch back to that laser for a, a second though because the laser was pretty cool as well. Works on a cooldown though so I'm gonna have to take it steady and just fire it off in short bursts. I'm sure there was another dude knocking about. Nope. Okay. Right so my little practice runs, practice recordings to make sure everything was working smoothly. That was as far as I went to. So, sights unseen from here on out. I haven't seen, I haven't even loaded this area in yet. So it's the oasis. And more or less the same, but water and, and greenery. So, yeah, still looks pretty nice. Health's doing pretty good, surprisingly. Don't know what these do yet. I mean, I know obviously it's giving me upgrades. But what am I doing here? Because I'm like mouse wheeling. I'm mouse wheeling and it's changing some cores. Oh, so I can only have three cores. Oh, I get you. And then it works on whatever my gun uses. What does my gun use? Technology, I'm assuming. So if I keep the demolition and... What's my, what's my other gun do? My other gun's green, that one's blue. Um, I don't really want to drop anything then. Um... Maybe we'll... Okay, we'll, we'll drop that one. Oh. What even happened then? I've got, a plus, I've got plus twos on this beast. Okay. So, laser beam should be more powerful now. What do we got? Bullets. It's a scout sniper. Is it going to be better than what I'm currently using? Hmm. Maybe not. I'm going to stick with this. And I don't, I don't really need the health. But... Okay, okay. Calm yourself down. Loading up another chunk of... Another chunk of goodness. Again, I, I apologise, but... It's just something we're going to have to live with for the moment. Okay, so those little flying dudes are putting shields on everything. It's quite a... Interesting enemy design. Oh, dude, just behave, man. You little shotgun guy. Oh, yes, level ups. What do we get? Weapon mastery seems pretty good. Ooh, extra health. It's only 10 health, though. It's only going to do me for, like, one shot, maybe. We'll take the weapon mastery. It's going to give me a little bit of extra damage, I assume. You can't go wrong with a little bit of extra damage. What is this? I don't know what that is, but it's dead. I shot it. Everything's fine now. No shields for you. I don't know how to hit their weak spot. Their weak spot seems very much enclosed. That one was a crit. And you saw the little chain lightning effect. Okay, okay, calm yourself down, son. Um, yeah, and you also have this little thing at the bottom. It's got a number 10 on it at the minute. Um, I don't know how that recharges. Maybe it recharges on kills. So if I get another... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, maybe. So is that going to go down to 9 now? Wait, to the 8 now, rather. No? Okay, I don't know how it recharges. But either way, that thing recharges. Oh, it's when you collect them blue things. Okay, I get it now. Um, and when that refills, you get a little thing at the bottom that says boom. And then you can use this boom to fire off like a little grenade looking thing. Which is kind of cool. So grenades are on like a cooldown. Or a, a recharge. Or something along that along that concept. I like the laser. The laser's cool. Um, what what even what even is? What, what happened? I got stunned by something. I don't even know what. Whoa, oh, okay. 
I don't know what that was, but it, it stunned me. This level's hard. No, 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 don't, don't stun me again. No, no, no. Down, down, down. Okay, that's that's kind of a cool little, cool little feature that you have to. Is it this thing that's stunning me? You have to mash like certain directions to get out of the stun. Usually, it's just like wiggle your analog stick like a madman, or um, or just wait out the cooldown, like wait until it's sworn off. So this seems a little bit different. You actually have to pay attention to get out of the stun. Have a grenade thing. So it's not quite like a grenade because you fire it in a straight line. It might have like a little bit of bullet drop associated with it, I'm not sure about that. But it more or less just travels in a straight line. Which you'd expect a grenade to have like an arc to it. But it works a bit differently. It's like an explosive laser beam, if you will. Okay, the edges of my screen have gone all pixely, which I'm assuming means that I'm nearly dead. It's like a little warning indicator that um, your little robot eyes aren't working too good. Oh yeah, you're a robot. I mean, you probably gathered that from RoboQuest anyway, but but yeah, you are a robot. Oh, you probably gathered that from my hand also. And the fact that I can double jump and shoot grenades out of my arm. Okay, maybe that wasn't something that I actually needed to explain. But you are a robot, and I have de deactivated. That was hard. Total wrenches, two. I don't know what that means. Total runtime, seven minute fifty. Okay. Again, don't know what that means. Uh, I mean, obviously I do. I mean... It took me seven minutes fifty seconds to die. Actually, oh, I have, I have nine wrenches. I don't know why I have nine, but I have nine. Maybe I got some from the tutorial. Maybe I got some from when I was messing about trying to figure things out. I don't know. What's an artifact rack? Allows you to craft artifacts you find a, you find blueprints of. That is one thing. When I was messing about, I did stumble across a blueprint. I can't remember what it was, but I, I stumbled across one. Um, you assault the room with a choice between two weapons. Okay, yeah, that sounds that sounds better. And what does this do? Uh, you start the room with one random core. Sure, we'll take one of them. I hope these are all like permanent things. I, I'm assuming they are because it's a roguelite. Unlocks new upgrades to craft. Okay, I think that's got to be the last thing we get. Oh, then again, we can get we can get everything. Ooh, backpack. You can carry an additional weapon. Oh, so that, yeah, that was the thing that I found. Okay, that, that's cool. And then we'll get that. So now there should be a bunch more stuff to upgrade. Maybe. Oh, all these upgrade further now. Alright, I get you. Oh, and there's something over here now as well. Choose between three perks instead of two when leveling up. Okay, yeah, so there's sort of like upgrading base camp progression. Sort of in the, in the same vein of, like, uh, Rogue Legacy and, well, basically just any other roguelite in existence. So that's kind of cool. Oh, you have to actually equip the things from there. And the other things don't do anything, they're just passive. And, um, make your base look better. So we're going to jump straight into another run. Because I'm having a lot of fun and I want to keep playing it. It is good stuff. It is good eats. I just wish my PC had handle recording it that little bit better. But it doesn't because it's a tool. Uh, bullets. 75% crit chance, mags, explosive on the right click, or a laser. Looks like a blunderbuss, but it's a laser. Versatile assault or technology. Oh. Oh, and that one's precision or demolition. Oh, okay. I get you. I get you. Um. What about for this thing? Ooh. It is like a blunder bus. Like a laser bus. A blunder laser. Oh, precision and technology. Ooh, so that's actually going to upgrade this weapon then, because it's technology. Well, not not so much upgrade it, but it's it's going to do good stuff for it. Oh, and this is like, it works on a cooldown, which is weird. It's a shotgun that has a cooldown associated with it. Oh, and the things are bouncy. you got like bouncy bullets all over the place. Oh, this is cool. I'm glad I picked this gun. Because my aiming's atrocious. But if I can just bounce things all over the place, then I'm, I'm sure to hit things. Smack. Smack. Uh, excuse me. You will die. You will fall down. I had a feeling that one of them was going to pop out of there. Oh, I had a feeling I don't want to be going that way quite yet. Alright, this is a cool gun. 
Oh, you can just hold the click to shoot, like, faster. Ah. I've been clicking separately. I do quite like the pistol as well, actually. The pistol feels more action-packed. I don't know why. I just feel like a like a badass as I'm going around and shooting things with a pistol. I'm not sure why. I just, I just like the feel of it. It's got a good feel to it. But then again, in a lot of games, like all the Resident Evil games, I prefer the pistol to any other weapon. I, I use the pistol for the entirety of the game. I literally do not change to anything else. Because there's just no need. Okay, I'm not sure which of these diverging paths I'm wanting to go down. Um, hitting a target with melee increases all damage dealt by 25% for 2.5 seconds. Explosions have a chance to deal critical damage and 75% increased radius. I don't think I have explosions other than this deal. But if it can deal a crit, then that's cool. And it's a bigger explodey as well now. So that could come in handy. Grinding. So I love being like Tony Hawk's. Tony Hawk's just grinding everything. Or not, not necessarily Tony Hawk's because he's a little bit past it now. But I don't know any like recent skaters. I haven't kept up on the whole skating scene. I used to do it a lot as a child. Or teenager rather. But not something I've, I continued. Not something, not a career that I pursued. Um. Ooh. Okay. I have... I have green. I crossbows! You know I want crossbows! Um, assault and ability, demolition and ability. None of them really do anything for me, but I'll take them anyway, just in case. Oh, crossbow time. How would you reload? If you had two crossbows, how would you... How would you pull the, the thing back? Oh, then again, they look kind of mechanical. They've got, like, motors on the back of them. So maybe that's maybe that's the deal with it. Um, ooh. Ooh. Oh, these bounce as well. Why is everything I've got bouncy? Not that I'm complaining. Bouncy shots are cool. Uh, I saw you. Well, I didn't see you, but... Why are you... Are you not a bad dude? Switch to buddy bot. What? What does it do? It's a gun? Okay. Alright, yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah. I'm I'm fine with that. Oh, and there's the thing that's on the door. Oh Okay, so we're finding secrets already, which is cool. Uh technology to laser. I only noticed because you've got a green eye instead of a instead of a red eye. Ooh, we want this, and um, we'll get rid of that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the one that I've just put down? I'm assuming so. And we definitely want more health. Um. Oh, where did my buddy bot go? No! Oh, it's alright, it's still there, it's still there. Because I can have three weapons because of my perk. Alright, I get you, I get you. So, I want to drop this, I think. Ooh. Yeah, that looks cool. And then, give me the buddy bot. Can you open this then? Secret unlocked ruins door. You know it. Look at him go. He's a little beast. A little beastie buddy bot. I'm like you guys, but not crap. Have you seen this? Have you seen the mad skills? Okay, so he works on a bit of a cooldown as well. I'm gonna switch to this sniper for a bit. Love all this lag to behave itself. It literally only does it when I'm recording, which is just madness. I will figure out a way around it, at some point. But, for now, I just want to play it, you know? I just want to get a video out there so that people can see it. And see how much fun the game is to play. It is, like, so enjoyable. I never thought I'd get really into a first-person shooter. Like, ever. Because I played them a lot. And I mean a lot. Growing up, I was... I was like massive on shooters back in back in the Modern Warfare 2 days. Well, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2. Um, there were a few other Call of Duties that I played as well, Halo, things like that. Um, Borderlands, Borderlands was a big one for me. But then I just sort of got bored of it. They were all the same, or the maps were always the same, or they all felt the same. And it was just sort of like, yeah, 
I'm, I'm kind of kind of done with that for now. And then I just stopped playing them all together. And then things like this have started appearing. It's a roguelike first-person shooter, so it's not it's not the same like as all the other shooters. It's different. It's got a bit of a bit of flair to it. There's like I don't know. Every run is going to be different. It's not like everyone's just running around repping the same build with an AK-47 and just annihilating you before you can even see them. It's, it's not like that. It's going to be different, like, all the time. And I'm into that sort of thing. I'm into that. Only three stars. Man, I suck. Plus, the music's cool as well. The music's cool, the visuals are cool. And it just, it just works well as well. It's just... It's good to play. It, if it wasn't an enjoyable game, then then maybe I wouldn't be as into it. But it is really enjoyable. So, Assault and Demolition. I do have one Assault gun. Um, so if I drop that one. And which is my Assault gun? The Blunderbuss. So the Blunderbuss is probably going to do a ton of damage now. Because it's got plus two... Well, I've got plus two and plus five on both of its stats. So it should be pretty pretty beefy now, I think. Right, whoa, there's flying dudes! I should not be here. I am not... I'm not gonna lie. I am very happy to admit I should not be here. I am not ready for this. This area is a little bit advanced for my taste, I think. Give me a perk. I hope this pauses. Um, yeah, we'll take that. Why not? Okay, okay. Just take it steady, dude. Just take it steady. Um, we have a sniper. Feel more comfortable with a sniper in my hand. Again, something that I've always been like on all shooters. If I'm the further away from the enemy I am, the more comfortable I feel. No brainer, really, I guess. Less chance there is of people who are actually seeing me or hitting me. Then again, that, ne that never was the case when playing online. People playing online have got like ridiculously good eyesight. You could be off in the distance at about the size of a pixel, hiding in some shrubbery in full ghillie armor, and they'd still pick you out. They'd be like, oh, there's a dude there, dead. I wasn't very good. I enjoyed playing it back in the day, but I wasn't I wasn't very good. I'm I'm very happy to admit, I've never been I've never been very very good at shooters. Okay. I think I think I'm doing alright at this one to be honest with you. Why is there so many dudes spawning in? Like, considering it's a game that, that is a genre of game rather, not just a game, that I've not really played in many a year, I think I'm I'm doing alright. And I was always a console player as well, I've never really played shooters on a PC. It does actually seem a lot easier on a PC though, I can't really deny that. Being able to aim with a mouse, it's just like doing office work. It's nothing at all like, like actually playing a game. It's just like you're, you're selecting folders on your desktop. Ah! There was a dude there. You know, and each folder is an enemy. Each folder gets you a, a, an extra point and you win. It, it's weird. You have a, a lot more control over a mouse than than an analog stick any day. It's just so much nicer, so much nicer of a feel to it. Give a little buddy boy a go. You can be my human shield. Well, my, my robot shield. Does that work? That would be cool. Somebody's throwing grenades at me as well now, which is madness. Okay, behave yourself. Behave yourself, there's no need for it. That's it, sit yourself down. Oh, we're back to the sniper. Didn't want to switch to the sniper. I wanted that. Yeah, this, this gun's doing some real work on things. Plus, I don't have to aim as well with this. I can just sort of wing it. It makes makes me look like I'm better at the game. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe the fact that I'm just running around firing a blunderbuss, blunderbuss at sniper rifle range makes me look like I'm terrible at the game. But I mean, at least I'm, I'm clicking things and things are dying. That's all that matters. I'm not going to do particularly fantastically, but I don't care. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I'd love to see like a really overpowered run on this as well. Be like just with that perfect setup for the perfect gun and just absolutely destroy everything that you come into contact with. That'd be cool. Be cool to see. Those shotgun guys are bad. They get me very easily. Okay. 
Okay. Sorry, easy does it. Easy does it. Oh yeah, the game is still in early access as well. I thought that that might be something worth mention, mentioning. It is, I think it is anyway. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it's an early access release. Ooh, secrets, not secrets. Um, power-ups, stuff. I like that it's like a little platformer section to actually get your power-up as well. It's not it, not like it just hands it over to you. Should I have refilled ammo straight away? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I don't think I want any of these. But then again, yeah, maybe I'll take that one. That seems like a good idea. Oh, but then again, we've got more guns. More guns coming in. So, that's bullets. Vestile, demolition, or something or other. That's got burning. Do, am I still going to need my buddy bot? Is this something I need to carry with me throughout the whole game? I don't want to leave him anywhere. Maybe I'll drop this. What is this? A shotgun. A shotgun that does fire. Okay. Um... And it runs on demolition. I only have three demolition. Uh, but I have, I have a, and oh no, I only have three green as well. That runs on green and blue. But three green. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So that is going to be better for me. Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll just. That was a complete waste of time. I'm going to stick with what I have. I love those little bouncy pads as well. They're cool. I didn't quite realise I'd got as much skill for this gun as I had. So maybe I should have been using this more because I feel safer with this. I think I do anyway. Maybe I don't. I can actually aim a little bit with this. Makes the targets bigger. Okay. But I'm I'm not as careful when I use this. I don't I just stand still because it's you gotta be more precise. I'm not I'm not good at being precise. Okay, alright, I'm gonna die. I am going to die. There is no doubt in my mind right now that this run has come to an end. This is as far as this run goes. Just smack it in the face. It's fine. You just keep smacking heads. Oh yeah, we're gonna get health. My life is saved. Um, I do like that gun, but it, it's not good for my build. Two precision, two demolition. Oh, I don't need that one, but I do need the precision. Oh, I needed that one for the assault for my other gun. Ah. But I don't need demolition, so I can take the assault there. I think, yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, that, that should be good. Spy that little sneaky enemy straight away. I'm not even in the room yet. Let me enter before you start shooting me. Okay. Just just take it steady. Just take it steady. There's 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 stuff like absolutely everywhere. There's enemies all over the show. Okay, I am taking so many hits right now. Okay, don't don't fire it without your scope. Take out that one. That one's giving me some grief. Oh yes, what do we got? Bullet damage? I'm not using bullet damage. Or am I? Maybe I am. 25% increased damage and 15% damage reduction for 6 seconds when taking damage. That seems like it'd be good. I'm going to take this kaboom bullet thing. I think this might work for this. Maybe. I'm not sure. We'll find out. I'm not sure if this is actually doing what I think it's doing. Dude, just stop spawning in out of nowhere. What's wrong with you all? That one won't even die. It's like a pure tank. There we go. Oh, you really need to be... Oh, I can't get back out. The door shut behind me. I was trying to escape. Whew, 11 minutes. I am the best at this game. The best. Anyway, we're going to leave this episode here. I really do hope you enjoyed watching the video, and I will see you next time.